In this chapter, I will now discuss the use of augmentation and respiratory variation to further evaluate for the presence or absence of a DVT on bedside ultrasonography. Augmentation is a relatively easy technique to perform. I will first provide an overview before showing you how to perform this technique. First, you will need to locate the vessel. You will then need to select the pulsed wave Doppler imaging modality on your ultrasound machine. This is also known as spectral Doppler imaging, depending on your device. After localizing the vessel, position the pulsed wave Doppler sample gate into the center of the vessel in question. Then, you will briskly squeeze the patient's calf distal to this portion of the vein and observe for a burst or brisk flow augmentation. However, if there is no corresponding burst or augmentation, this would suggest a more proximal resistance to flow as could occur in a DVT. Each ultrasound machine is unique. Here, on the GE Logic, I have highlighted with the red arrow the pulsed wave Doppler imaging mode button. As you practice ultrasonography, you will need to learn where the pulsed wave Doppler modality button is on your own ultrasound device to learn to switch between it and the brightness mode to perform augmentation. The right hand side of the screen demonstrates what you should see on your ultrasound machine in a pulsed wave Doppler image. Note that the sample gate is in the center of the vein. You can now see on the left side of the screen me compressing the patient's calf briskly. Please note the corresponding right side of the screen, the quick burst highlighted by the red arrow, suggesting ease of flow and the presence of augmentation. This still frame image shows, more clearly, the sample gate of the pulsed wave Doppler image in the center of the vessel, as well as the corresponding burst or augmentation when the patient's calf is squeezed. On this still image, I have now moved to the patient's leg with a DVT. Please note that there is no augmentation or burst seen in the vessel. This is what you will see when there is resistance to flow. There is a small burst seen just beyond the halfway point of the pulsed wave Doppler tracing, demonstrating a high level of resistance in the presence of a DVT. Compare both sides. On the left side is the patient's left leg where there is no DVT and has normal augmentation. On the right side, where the patient has a DVT, note here that there is no augmentation or burst with compression of his calf. I will now discuss the use of respiratory variation, also known as phasicity, to further delineate between the presence or absence of a deep venous thrombosis. The technique of respiratory variation is very similar to augmentation. Again, you will start by locating the vein in brightness mode and then change to the pulsed wave Doppler imaging modality. Adjust the sample gate to be in the center of the vessel. Now, you will simply watch for change in flow during the patient's respiratory cycle. This can be done on a patient breathing spontaneously on their own or even on a ventilator. A normal scan will show a small amount of augmentation in venous flow through the respiratory cycle. However, this will be absent when there is proximal resistance to flow, such as the presence of a DVT. This image demonstrates pulsed wave, or spectral, Doppler imaging of a vein. The blue arrow highlights the sample gate in the center of the vessel. Each red arrow denotes changes in venous flow during the patient's respiratory cycle. Here is the patient's contralateral leg with the DVT. Again, notice that the sample gate for the pulsed wave Doppler is in the center of the vessel, but there are no changes seen in flow during each of the patient's breaths. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison for you to see the difference. These were taken from the same patient with the normal leg seen on the left side of the screen and the leg with the DVT on the right. That completes this section on augmentation and respiratory variation. In the next section, I will discuss putting all of these techniques together to provide evidence of a DVT.